Hello and uh, welcome to the madness it is me playing scrap mechanic. I figured that I should probably do some flipper tutorial on this. So I have taken a robot which uh, it kind of drives. It drives normally. Where's the seat? There it is. And I've detached its flipping mechanism. As you can see. Nothing powering any of them bearings. So I was going to show off the simple way to make a flipper in this game. First thing first, you need a smart engine controller, like pretty much all of our weaponry. That's not facing up. And three counters to begin with. And why don't I have a switch? And a switch. So this is the simplest way to do a flipper configuration. Uh, and to paint one it doesn't matter what order you paint these we need a orange or you need a white counter a black counter and a counter which is not it's none of these colors any of these other colors will work for the last counter because they'll all do the same thing um so the black counter oh you should also hook up all of the counters to your smart engine controller so the black counter is your power. Now in this case, I'm going to limit how powerful the flipper is by its speed. So I'm basically using infinite power for the flipper. And the only thing which is going to change how hard it flips is how fast it goes. It's just the easiest, simplest way to do it. Might not be the best, but it works. For the speed, I'm just going to set it at 200 just for the moment, that shouldn't be too fast. Um, and I didn't know why I put that away. And for the orange, or whatever color you choose, it could be orange, it could be blue, it could be dark blue, it could be obnoxious pink color. But this is going to be how far your bearings rotate. So in this case, I am going to have them rotate 20 no, 30 degrees so that's 30 degrees because the red tick button means 10 um, if you actually need to see uh, was it aha here it is no not that one uh, color aha smart engine color values each of the colors you paint a tick button has a different value that it puts into the smart engine. So I'll leave this thing in the description so you can know what to do uh, for if you want to make one of these. Now before you hook these into your bearings, I would hook the smart engine controller to the switch, plug, uh, put both of those in and make sure you have it set to whatever you want it to rotate to, and hook the switch to the seat. And I think Okay, that would work, but I designed this flipper poorly. If I do that and that, I think it should work. Oh, wrong. What the heck? What did I break? Oh. Why are you broken? Is it rotating the wrong direction? Aha! I don't know why it was rotating the wrong direction. Uh, why is it doing that? Okay, I don't know why it's rotating the wrong direction. Uh, that might just be a trial and error thing. Just when I have it. Eh. Well, sometimes it'll just do weird stuff. Um, and you always just got to be prepared for that in Scrap Wars. Now I have it set to negative 30, and it goes this way. So, that works. And that might not be fast enough for you and your purposes, but you could 
very easily change the speed. So yeah, there's the, the simple way to make a flipper. It's the same sort of code if you're doing this into a piston, but the difference will be that uh, the length will be the number of blocks it travels. So that is how that is done. I'm keeping in the wrong button. There's the simple way to do flippers, and in the next video, I'll show you the advanced way to do flippers. Because if you could guess, this only works from a flat, um, like straight up and down, or a completely horizontal setup. So I'll show off how to make it start from an angle and finish at a different angle next time. Okay, let's see what happens when I set it to 10,000 speed. Okay, 20,000. Okay, cool. Perfect, perfect weapon. Perfect weapon. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win Scrap Wars. Woohoo!